Good morning, YouTube. Running out the door this morning. Got a shake with some coffee in it. We're figuring out where we're gonna live in the future and I've gotta go save some lives. Let's get this day started here. Showing up to my first person now. The dance instructor that comes here keeps messing up my setup. My table used to be right here, so I have open space, but right now I can't do that because the table's right up against the Pilates reformer here. I mean, come on. Double Rolls Royce. One Rolls Royce. Two Rolls Royce. That's a million dollars. Week three, sidecar. And what's the flavor this week? Huckleberry. Huckleberry. I have no idea what huckleberry tastes like, but we're about to find out. What's it gonna be? Golden. If you had to place it in order with the other donuts you've had from Sidecar. Butter salt, huckleberry, buttermilk drop, pumpkin. I just sent probably the first upset customer service email I've ever sent in my entire life because I'm just a like a generally happy-go-lucky and non-complaining guy, but I want to read this to you. It's from B&H Photo because I ordered a camera and a drone through them. When I called them this, well, let me just read you the email. I pre-ordered a camera and a drone the day they were announced from B&H because I've been blown away by the speed of your service in the past. When I pre-ordered these items, I did not know B&H would be closed for 10 days during the launch of both of these very hot items. And I respect that the break is for religious reasons and would only delay the items by a day or two because they were being released uh, this week. Until I called B&H customer service this morning and was told that there was no expected shipping date on either of the items. This is really, really upsetting as I pre-ordered the items from B&H as soon as they went up on your site to ensure their early arrival. I love you guys and gals, but I'll definitely be more careful in the future. Today we're gonna to talk about something I am going to be calling the power hour. Power hour is something I do when I feel stressed. It's something I do when I know I haven't worked out in a while. I try to do a power hour at least four days a week. And then I do bits and pieces of it on the other three days a week. There's three parts to it. The first part is some type of mindfulness practice, like a meditation or maybe like priming, if you've seen some of the uh, early videos on my channel about just trying to rehab injuries. The second piece is doing some sort of cardiovascular exercise. It could be walking, it could be jogging or doing sprints. And step three of the power hour is to get a resistance training workout in. This could be push-ups, sit-ups, lifting weights, pull-ups, resistance bands. It could be just doing some priming routines at a higher intensity trying to fatigue your muscles. Meetings, meetings, meetings. Phone calls, phone calls, phone calls. What time is it? Game time! Absolutely my favorite gym in Newport Beach. After a few minutes of sitting in silence and thinking about my life, being grateful and appreciating you for watching and appreciating everyone who's helped me get to this point where I have the freedom, the ability, the talents, and the finances to make this vlog start and happen. It's an incredible experience. And I want you to know that whatever amazing thing is planned for you in your life, it's going to happen someday. <laughs> What's up, dude? Everybody say bye to Bruce. Bye, Bruce. Yes, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Just in the middle of my last part of the power hour today doing my cardio and I wanted to show you guys our latest and greatest favorite bedtime slash dinner time snack. Benito's black bean chips and these are the honey chipotle barbecue flavor. Unreal. Seriously, unreal. You don't even need anything to dip them in but like some guac or some soup. Nice. Super pumped, guys, because this is a special treat of tasting. Check it out. Chocolate chip cookie dough flavored Raw Rev Superfood Bars. Absolutely incredible. One to ten. It's like a nine, nine and a half. Did you do your power hour today? Make sure you get it in tomorrow. Night, guys.